Hello, and thank you for joining us on our live stream this morning. Uh, unfortunately, due to a few climate-related difficulties, uh, our parking lot is causing a bit of a stop for people getting into the building, so our service will be delayed for just a few minutes. Um, so if you wouldn't mind being patient with us as we help get our people into the building. So yes, uh, again, our stream will be delayed for just a few minutes. Um, we thank you for your patience. Thank you.
as soon as uh, I think as soon as Dan gets back from moving his car, when the contractor
Happy New Year. Yeah, well, ha um, a memorable Sunday so far. Um, thank you to everybody for, well, first of all, for, for being here. Okay, yeah, that's the, that's the contractor guy. Yeah. Yeah, and he's, he's plowing so that the contractor's truck that came in and got stuck can get out. Um, thank you, everybody, for being here, for braving the weather, uh, for, for doing the foolish thing of going out this morning and driving and driving into an unplowed parking lot um, and, in some of our cases, getting stuck, um, all for a very good purpose. And the very good purpose is that we gather together in the Lord's house on the Lord's day to worship the living God in spirit and in truth. And it is actually uh, an activity that is worth risk. Uh, we don't usually see it that way. We don't usually experience it that way. But I would like to say that it is. And this is, uh, this is one of those times, Justin and I were talking um, earlier today as, uh, as we were getting ready and talking about the service for today. Um, wondering how many people would actually be here. And I, I like these services. I like this opportunity to say a word or two to the... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-twenty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-twenty-one, thirty-twenty-two, thirty-twenty-three, thirty-twenty-four, thirty-twenty-five, thirty-twenty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, thirty-thirteen, thirty-fourteen, thirty-fifteen, thirty-sixteen, thirty-seventeen, thirty-eighteen, thirty-nineteen, thirty-twenty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six,
good followers of Jesus, obey the government. Unless the government is telling us to do something that God tells us not to do, we can still worship online. We did. But unless the government tells us not to, or unless it really is some kind of a, a horrendous tragedy of some kind, which has to be worse than this, believe it or not, um, we're not going to close our doors. Uh, and if two or three gather together, we are there to carry on as the church. Thank you very much, all of you, for being part of this very memorable Sunday where we do exactly that. And let us remember together as we worship here today that it is God and God's pleasure and God's glory that we are here for. All right? Very good. Justin, shall we do some worship? Oh, oh one other thing. Justin and I talked about it. He's done a lot of wonderful work, and he's a wonderful preacher. And he has a wonderful sermon prepared for us for New Year's. But we decided that given that we probably weren't going to see a whole lot of people here today, that we would hold off on his message and, and the service that was prepared for today for next week. We're going to have a New Year's service and message, etc., on the 8th of January, assuming that things will be better, and they should be. The weather says it should be a little better next week. Um, and so um, we're going to hold off. We're not using bulletins today. And we're just going to gather in the old-fashioned way without papers in front of us and just bring our praise to God. Okay, Justin. Amen. Would you uh, stand? We'll sing a few songs together this morning. God, 
Sing with me how great is our God. And oh, we'll see how great, how great is our so thankful to be here today to sing your praises, Lord. 
We are thankful for the breath in our lungs and, and the life that you have given us, Father. We know, uh, being here today, that you are still uh, using us. You are still working through us to share your name and to share your kingdom, Father. We pray that in our time together this morning, Lord, that you are glorified, um, that our praise and worship is loud for you and is pleasing to you, Lord. We pray that our studying of your word today brings glory to your name. And um, Lord, we just pray that you continue to soften our hearts, continue to work through us and change us and save us, Father, um, perfecting us over time so that we may be with you someday, Lord. And we pray that any works we do, you are doing through us uh, for the benefit of your kingdom and for the glory of your name, Father. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may take a seat. Well, it's time for us to come to the Lord with our prayers of confession. I have uh, plenty of recent things to confess. My uh, bad attitude, unkind thoughts, critical spirit, while I'm out digging out snow that uh, somebody else was contracted to push out of the way. Um, see, I'm still doing it. <laughs> I have to confess that one too. But uh, let us come to God, who knows us inside and out, loves us anyway, calls us to confess for our good, not his. Um, he, he knows it all already. Um, but it's good for us to confess to the Lord, to come clean, to, to know the new start that God uh, gives us uh, every morning, every moment. So let us um, offer our prayers of confession silently with God here now. Lord God, thank you for hearing our prayers. Thank you for the newness that comes to us through the completed work of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you for your continuing transforming work in each of our hearts and minds and lives as we walk with you through this life and, and look forward to walking into your arms in eternity one day. Lord, be with us now as we uh, open your word for a moment, think your thoughts after you, and get ready to meet with you in a special way at your communion table. I pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, before we do what we uh, are here especially to do, which is to celebrate the sacrament of Holy Communion together, I thought it would be good for us to hear some scripture and think um, a little bit about why we're here, about what it's all about, about what communion is all about. And I've, uh, I've chosen to, to read from the book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verses 19 through 25. Hear the word of God. Therefore, brothers, since we have confidence to enter the holy places by the blood of Jesus by the new and living way that he opened for us through the curtain, that is, through his flesh. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful." And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day drawing near. I, I chose this passage um, for several reasons. I, I was thinking it would, it would probably be a good passage 
to talk about as we do not neglect our gathering together, as is the habit of some, according to the writer of Hebrews. But we are meeting together in the Lord's house for all the reasons that I talked about earlier. What I didn't realize was that we're going to see an enactment of much of these verses before our service, and really I would suggest maybe even as a part of our worship together, as we actually did some of this stuff. And what I see now is, is the sort of concentric circles, the, 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 the initial powerful truth that then gives rise to other things, as sort of like dropping a, dropping a rock in a, in a still lake and then watching the ripples go out. And I'm gonna start with the outside ripples, which I think come at the end. Um, encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day drawing near that we, we understand that we're living in the between times, uh, that God is going to bring everything to some kind of fitting conclusion, hasn't happened yet, just as God brought everything to a fitting start by speaking all creation into existence, one day he will say, okay, it is finished, and life as we know it, the world as we know it, the universe as we know it will come to an end. Um, it isn't the end, it is just ushering us, God's people, into eternity with him. But as we see that day coming, uh, we don't neglect our meeting together, so here we are. And we are to consider how to stir up one another to love and good works. Well, we saw that this morning. Um, we got ourselves in trouble. We got ourselves in trouble individuals with front-wheel drive cars in ice and snow we got ourselves in trouble as a community with Sunday morning at the time when people are supposed to be arriving, our entryway is blocked and we only have one. And what happened? Well, I'm, I'm looking at people. I'm looking at people who we didn't make a plan. We didn't, you know, people criticize us Presbyterians saying, you guys always have meetings. We had no meetings. <laughs> there was no meetings this morning. We just picked up shovels, we just pushed, pulled, gave advice, did what we needed to do to, to remedy the problem, at least enough so that we could be in here. It was, it was each of us spurring one another. We've got people from back east visiting, I assume. What's your name? Jackie. Jackie. Thank you, Jackie. Jackie, she's a, where are you from? From Rhode Island. Okay, Rhode Island. We got, this is like Rhode Island West out here, I think. Thank you so much. All right, there you go. But even Jackie's out there directing traffic. I mean, it, it, so what, what did we see here? We saw, we saw God's family working together, stimulating one another, urging one another by our actions, by our words, by our, by our bravery. People who came out with cars that had about this much clearance, you know, from the, in the bottom of their car, driving through snow that was this high. But they're coming because they want to worship God good for you. And we got in trouble. And we dug ourselves out of trouble. We stimulated one another. We urged one another by all of these things toward love and good deeds. We saw that happening this morning. And, and so the, the concentric circles keep moving in. Let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, the writer says, with hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed pure with water. Draw near. We are drawing near today. We are drawing near to God, probably as near as we get in our own experience. Obviously, God is with us all the time. God is as near as near can be all the time, as close as our next breath, as real as our next heartbeat. God is here with us. But in our experience, we come close, maybe closer, closest in our own understanding and experience to the mystery of God and the reality of God, and the goodness of God, and the work completed of God as we come to his table. We are drawing near with a true heart and full assurance of faith. I hope and pray that's true for us. Why? What is it that makes all of this possible? What is it that makes all of this real? Well, reading backwards. We have a great high priest over the house of God, the writer tells us. Jesus. Well, what is a priest? Anybody know what a, what a priest does? A, what's that? Yes, mediator, that's a good word. A priest in any religion, it, it, not just for Christians, not just for Jews, um, not just those that, that understood um, the, the Old Testament 
um, way of worshiping God that God gave to his people where priests were, were crucial. Many other religious systems and practices have priests. And the priest's job is to occupy that place in between the people and the deity, God. Both, both to help the people to know God, understand God, please God, um, follow God, but also to intercede for the people with God, to, to speak to God for the people and to speak to the people for God. That, that's, that's sort of what a priest does. That they, they're, they're a bridge sort of function. Well, wh what the writer of Hebrews will tell us in other places is that every human priest, every human priest is limited. Every human priest has to get up and do whatever their priestly thing is, whatever their sacrifice is that they're supposed to make. You know, how many, how many young girls they're supposed to throw off the cliff. That's not our religion, by the way. Whatever it is that they're supposed to do, once they've done it, they have to remain standing and do it again. And again, and again, and again, and again. Priests just, it never stops. Whatever it is that you're doing to try to get things right between your people and, and your God, you gotta keep doing it. You're never done. Whatever you do only lasts a while. But when this priest, referring to Jesus, writer of Hebrews, elsewhere in this book, when this priest completed his work, he sat down. Done. That's the high priest that he's talking about. So how do we do all of this? What is it that gives rise to the rest of these concentric circles? What is it that allows us to draw near in full assurance of faith with hearts sprinkled clean like we actually belong here? Because we do. What makes that possible? The high priest. The high priest who has done his work, his work of atonement, his work of sacrifice, of paying the price for us, of making things right between us and God. He's the one that has done that. We have this high priest. He's the high priest who, moving up one verse, by, gives us a new and living way that he has opened for us through the curtain. Now, this is a reference, almost certainly, back to the curtain that was in the temple, in the very center of the temple of God, in the Holy of Holies, the, the curtain that blocked the Holy of Holies from the rest of the universe. Only one person ever went in there, and only one time a year with a rope tied around them to make special sacrifice on the holiest day for the Jews. Otherwise, nobody ever went in there, and if they did, they, they would die. Jesus brings us through the curtain into the Holy of Holies. He brings the Holy of Holies out into the rest of the world. The Holy of Holies is here with us. That is through his flesh. That, that the image here that he's giving us is that Jesus' flesh, the fleshly person of Jesus, the incarnation, we talked about that a couple of weeks ago, the flesh of Jesus then we can see as sort of like the curtain. And the the, the way into full union with God, fellowship with God, is through the person of Jesus, through his flesh, his fleshly sacrifice, his coming for us in the flesh, his dying for us in the flesh, his being raised to new life. Through him, like through the curtain, we then have access to God, and so we come in full confidence of faith. And finally, since we have confidence to enter the holy places by the blood of Jesus. That, that's where the writer starts here in verse 19. The sacrifice of Jesus, the fact that Jesus gave himself for us, that he did for us what we couldn't do for ourselves, what we wouldn't do for ourselves, but what God would do for us through the sacrifice of Christ. There's the center. Jesus came Jesus died for us and Jesus was raised to life. There is the center that gives rise to the rest 
of the concentric circles, including a family of God out shoveling in the snow together and digging cars out. There is a relationship here. There's a reason for this. There's a reason that we do this joyfully and, and in our way. And it is because of Jesus. I would probably go further and say there's a reason for all the good works that people do, and it is because of the character of God in whose image we are made. All of which then leads to the truth of this is a God who would do, who actually knew he would do from the beginning what Jesus did. God the Son would come and show us God, the God of grace, the God of truth, the God of righteousness, the God of holiness, but the God of mercy and grace who gives himself for the sake of others and makes us like him. Friends, as we come to communion today, let us draw near holding fast to the confession of our hope. Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, knowing that our hearts have been sprinkled clean from an evil conscience, conscience and our bodies washed with pure water through the blood of Jesus, the sacrifice of Christ for us. So I was asked by uh, Pastor Jay as we headed into communion today to maybe just give a few words on communion itself to get our hearts and minds prepared as we uh, come to the table today. And so I decided to try to do just that as best I could. I came up with four words <laughs> for communion today. Um, remembrance, presence, confession, and forgiveness. Um, first, as we come to the table, <clears throat> not just something that we ought to do, but something that we are called to do by Christ and by the words of Paul, we are to come in remembrance uh, of our Savior, of our Lord Jesus. Um, come in remembrance of the works of his good life. Um, come in remembrance of the power of his death, the power of the blood that was spilt for us so that we may be redeemed and living with him. But the second word I come with is presence. Um, as we come to the table today, thinking in remembrance of God and who he is and trusting um, in what the scripture has told us, that Christ is very much alive. Um, his death only held him for a few days before overcoming and, and being with us again so that we may be forgiven. Christ is alive and um, as part of the message that I was going to share today that we'll save for next week, part of our New Year's message, um, the God who was in charge, the God that created the universe, that created us from the very beginning is still on the throne today as he was back then as he was yesterday, as he is today and will be into the future. So as we come together today, believing and trusting in that, living in remembrance of him, yes, Jesus, his presence is with us at all times, like Jay said, but maybe especially so as we come to the table together as a body, um, living in remembrance, trusting in him. Um, the presence of Christ is especially here at the table together when we as a body come and worship him and praise him and participate um, in this act of communion today. The third word was confession. Partaking in communion gives us an opportunity, um, an extra opportunity to come to the Lord in confession. This does not mean that we must be perfect to participate in communion. It also doesn't mean that communion uh, wipes us clean of our sins. But in understanding and living in remembrance of Christ, we must come to some conclusion and some understanding that there is a disparity between us and the Lord, us and our flesh causing us to live against God and God in his perfect righteousness. There is a gap between us. And should we accept him and be redeemed by him, hopefully over time as we trust in him and he works through us and softens our heart and changes us, that gap small, uh, becomes smaller and smaller and smaller. But this acts as an opportunity for us to come to the Lord in confession in remembrance, trusting in his presence. And finally, as we look at the cup, um, the blood, the covenant blood of God spilled for us, we are able to see forgiveness. This is what the blood resembles for us. Uh, blood that was shed 
by an undeserving man, a perfect man, a righteous man, Jesus himself, on behalf of us who live on the opposite side of that gap that we mentioned between him and us. That blood spilt for us so that we may be forgiven and redeemed should we accept Christ as our Savior. So as we come to the table today, I encourage us to think of those four words. Remembrance, presence, confession, and forgiveness. All these things are combined as we come together to the table and praise our God. Um, so thankful are we for the love that he has given us, the sacrifice he has made for us, and we are thankful um, that he is still on the throne as he always has been and always will be. So as we come to the table today, I would ask you, would you pray with me? Father, we are so blessed to be here today, thankful that you have given us this breath to be together as a church body, worshiping and praising you, Lord. And what an extra blessing it is today to partake in communion, in your presence. We come in remembrance of you, Father, remembrance of your works for us, your sending of your son, the life of which he lived, the death he paid as a price for us, out of your love and grace and mercy for us, Father. And we pray as we worship that your presence is made known to us, that we do not take this lightly but come out of a reverence for you, Father that we worship and praise you in this act together, and we pray that our, our, our offering of coming to communion, Lord, brings glory to your name. Father, we pray that you be with us as we take the bread and drink the cup, that we live in remembrance of you, trusting in your presence, confessing in the ways in which we fall short, and leaning into your forgiveness, Father. We are blessed and thankful to be here as a family. We pray for those who could not make it with us today that you continue to guide them and be with them and make your presence known to them as well, Father. And we pray for all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. We come now to the table of the Lord. We do so saying much about God, Lord of all creation, but also a very personal God, who saves those who put their trust in him. We come to the table of the Lord, and all are welcome. Um, all are, are welcome who put their hope and trust in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. With the measure of faith that God has given us, we don't have to have big faith. Uh, little faith is good enough. Um, just a willingness to say, yes, I don't understand it. Who does? Not fully, but I understand enough to say yes to Jesus Christ and his sacrifice for me. And therefore, it makes sense for me to come to him and come to his table and to commune with him in this way. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And in the same way, after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. All of you, drink of it. Do this in remembrance of me. For whenever we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Let us pray. Lord God, as real as this bread that we can touch and this juice that we can taste, help us to know so real is your completed work for us, your love for us, your grace for us, your mercy for us, your forgiveness for us. Lord, help us to know that we come to you today through faith as those who have had their hearts, their lives, their very selves sprinkled clean through your sacrifice for us. Help us to remember this and to celebrate this as we come to the table. May you be honored and glorified through our actions here today as your church. And I pray this in your name and for your sake. Amen. So I'd invite uh, servers to come forward. And just uh, a reminder that um, as is our somewhat new tradition, we're going to invite you to come and take the bread and eat it right then and there, and then take the cup 
back with you to your seat, and then when everyone's been served, we will drink together as a, an act of our oneness in Christ. Jesus said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Jesus said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. All of you, drink of it. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, once again, we thank you and we praise you for meeting with us here in this special time. Lord, I thank you for your promise that we're two or more are gathered together in your name, there you are in their midst. Lord, we're grateful for and count on your presence. Help us to know it and to live in that um, partnership and fellowship, not just here in this place, but everywhere we go and in all the days of our lives. Lord, help us to live, uh, to honor you, to hear your uh, will for us and then to have the courage to follow as you lead. Lord, hear us as we share together now in the special prayer that you taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Well, once again, thank you very, very much for being here today. A couple of other quick things that I forgot to mention earlier. Uh, one is that uh, we're actually going to be taking down all of these decorations next Saturday, weather permitting. Um, and so any of you that can come or spread the word that uh, at what, 9 o'clock next Saturday morning we'll gather together to get out the boxes and put everything back away. 
not as much fun as getting them out, but uh, needs to be done. And then second of all, we were talking about it earlier, but just officially to let you know, the rosebud on the uh, table there um, celebrates the arrival of Eleanor May Vaughn, who is the latest grandchild, granddaughter of Jay and Danelle Hall. So uh, we had a, a very momentous Christmas Eve day. She was born early in the morning on Christmas, or excuse me, New Year's Eve day, um, and uh, which was yesterday. Was it just yesterday? Wow. Um, and uh, so thank you very much for your prayers for her. Everyone's doing well. Yay. Yep. And we're excited about the new addition. She's cute, of course. And uh, exactly. She looks just like her grandma, right? Um, so let us then go forth today, knowing that we are people who have been blessed with faith. You know, one of the things that has struck me using this, this concentric circle thing and it eventually leads out to stimulating one another to good deeds, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't work backwards. Maybe, maybe using the rock in the, in the lake analogy a little bit further, maybe I'm putting too much weight on analogies. Analogies all will break down if you put too much weight on them, but I'm going to try. And just the idea that the, the circles go out they, they don't go back in. So that you don't reason necessarily or naturally from the fact that there are good works in the world and good works that attach to people that have nothing to do with Jesus. Praise God. General, we call it general grace. But you don't, you don't necessarily reason from those things, the outer rim, back to that center core. That that is something that really needs to come by by supernatural intrusion, if you will, that God must come to us, must reveal. The best thing that we can do, it seems to me, to help someone come to a place where they are willing and able to trust in Jesus for salvation, to be saved, the best thing we can do for them is pray for them. Um, we can do lots of other stuff, but we're not going to help anybody reason their way from the outer rings in, just as you can't start with outer rings in a lake and end up with a rock. The, the rock must hit, and then the rest of things fall. And it's evidence. It's good evidence. But good evidence must be joined by the work of the Holy Spirit. So let us go forth today as people, first of all, celebrating the glory of God, who gets all the glory for this, that we actually do believe in him. It's not because we're smart people. It's not because we're faithful people or more faithful than somebody else. It's not because we were born into the right family or are the right race or, or have achieved, have read all the right books. It's because God has acted for us, pure and simple. God gets all the glory for my salvation then let us go forth, first of all, celebrating and thanking God every day that we do put our faith and trust in him, that we do believe that we are saved. Celebrating that if, in fact, our salvation is because of him yesterday and today, it will also be because of him tomorrow, which means we do, need, do not need to fear ever that we're going to do something that is going to cause us to suddenly be out when we were in. If God has us in his firm grip, there is no power on earth, including our own, that will ever wrest us from him. If God says, I am his, I am his. Praise God. That assurance will get us through every day. And let us go forth then knowing that we can always draw near to the living God in every circumstance, in every life challenge and joy, we can always draw near to God for we have that great high priest whose work has been completed, Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen. 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 Happy New Year. <clears throat> and I hope everybody can get out of the parking lot. <laughs>